Okay, so hey there guys, so welcome to another lookbook video. Um, so I did go to the beach earlier today, so I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look. Um, my birthday is literally in like 10 minutes, so I was kicking out my birthday shenanigans with going to the beach, and it was such a fun day. I'm still a little bit buzzed, so I've just been chugging water the past like hour. Because I had my full water bottle at the beach because I always bring like this canteen that my boyfriend got me that I bring everywhere and it has like two and a half glasses of water in it so I drank the entire thing and then I had like two Trulies at the beach and then I had a few when I went to my friend's house but it was just it was so much fun I loved it so I primed my eyes with the um ColourPop Party Proof Primer and then I used my Amico Lay Lip Oil, of course. And then I set my eyes with the ColourPop Party Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my eyes, I decided to go in with the Clarity Cosmetics I Love Coffee Palette today. Because um, I wanted to just do a more neutral look again for the beach. And this was super pretty. Again, it does get a lot of fallout everywhere, though, in the pan. But on the face, it looked really good. It was a little bit fallouty today, though, especially with this shade. I had a bit of specks underneath my eyes, but I just wiped it away, and honestly, it was totally fine. So I used Latte Love in the crease, like this yellowy matte. Then I darkened up the crease more with Cappuccino. And then on the outer corners, I used Decaf Please, which is a really pretty, like, dark brown. And then for my lid, I went all over the lid with macchiato which is such a beautiful like shimmery bronzy shimmer oh my god it was so pretty and then for my brow bone i went in with uh cream no sugar and then for my inner corners i went in with iced coffee which is usually the one that i use but i wanted to get a little bit more use out of this um before i get the natasha denona i need a nude palette because i ordered that one I don't know if I'm going to get the Blend Bunny one still. I have to figure out whether or not I really still want to get it. Because since I got the Natasha Denona one, I don't know if I need the Blend Bunny one. But also, like, I only have bl one Blend Bunny palette in my... I was about to say Blend Bunny. I only have one Blend Bunny palette in my collection. As opposed to, like, now it's going to be six Natasha Denona palettes after I get this. Um palette but we'll see we will see and then I primed my face with the do it spray of course and then I used my elf poreless putty primer again because I've been obsessed with this primer it's so good and then I went in with a new foundation but a newish concealer so I picked up the Fenty Beauty easy drop blur smooth tint stick in the shade one and I do like the foundation. Now, the thing is that I like this, but I don't know if I'm like completely in love with it. Because from what I've been watching on YouTube, I've watched Angie's review. I watched um, Tina's review from the Fancy Face. And I watched uh, Makeup by Treen's review. But I already had this. Um, watching Makeup by Trains review, but I hadn't tried it yet, so I wanted to watch a review first. And everyone that I've watched say, like, it's, like, completely poreless. But when I tried it, it kind of had a bit of dryness here, and also a bit of emphasizing my pores around, like, my nose area, which is usually my problem areas. So I got the shade 1, and I like it, but maybe I need to try it with just blending it out with my fingers. Because I did use it with a sponge, but... That shouldn't affect the way that this applies with a sponge. It should be even more natural with using a sponge or your fingers. So, I'm going to have to try it out again, but I do really like it. And I'm glad that I own another um stick foundation because i haven't had a stick foundation in so long that this one was just like really intriguing to me and i do like it but i don't know if i'm like in love with it but i like it and then i picked up the coinciding fenty beauty concealer and i know this is not a new product 
but I think I'm going to return it because it's just too matte for my liking. And I prefer the stick foundation over the coverage of the concealer. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, but I don't know why I picked this up. I just wanted to try it with the stick. But then also, like, there's so many concealers launching right now that, like, this is just too matte for my liking. It's almost, like, as matte as, so this is the shade 100. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Concealer in the shade 100. I feel like it's just as matte as the, um, the, con the foundation that first launched. And I've never liked that foundation, but I liked the concealer. But then after trying it today, I'm like, it's too matte for my liking. It's nice, but I don't know if I necessarily need this because I'm getting the makeup by Mario and I just ordered the Tower 28 one. I had no idea Tower 28 was coming out with the concealer. And then I saw um, Morgan Turner test it out on her Instagram story and I was like, well, I guess I need that. So I ordered that too. I know I'm a psychopath. And then I set my under eyes with the e.l.f. HD powder, which I haven't used it, this in a hot hot second. I don't know if the way, like, my concealer looked a bit matte or, like, my foundation looked a bit dry was because of this. But I don't use this around, like, my cheek area. It looked a bit dry around my cheek area. So I just use this in my T-zone. So I'm not sure about that. And then I set my face with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder, of course. And then I went in with my Essence Lash Primer, of course. And then I used my Ami Lay Mascara, which I love this mascara. This is the Lash Amplifying Mascara. And then I set my... Um, and then I used the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. I don't know why that is falling. And then for my bronzer, I decided to use the Ilia Bronzer. This is the Ilia Nightlife Bronzing Powder in the shade Drawn In. Love this pow this bronzer. And then for my blush, I really wanted to use one of the Clarity Cosmetics blushes again. Because I've literally only went in with these once. So I wanted to use this like more peachier kind of honey shade. So I used the Clarity Cosmetics Pressed Pigment Blush in the shade Boo Thang. And this is still a beautiful blush, so I used that. And then for a highlight, I wanted to go in with a new highlighter today that I picked up yesterday. But this did a whole lot of nothing. And I'm, like, wanting to return this already. So I picked up the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. And I tried it today, and it literally did almost nothing for my cheeks. And I was like, but I didn't set, I usually don't set this section of my highlight, where my highlight goes because it always shows up better if I don't set it. But this didn't do anything. Even when I swatched this yesterday, I was like, this is not really that highlighty. And it was kind of a bit chalk, chalky when I swatched it yesterday. So I'm literally straight up returning this because it's really not even that good. So I had to go over it with my Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad palette and I just went in with my Tried and True Cookie Highlighter. I mean, this is a lot of people's favorite, but I've been wanting to use this for a while anyway. So I had to go over the Dandelion Highlighter with this and it looked so much better and this took like two seconds to apply and also this is like way wetter. Um, and way smoother in formula than the dandelion. I know I'm talking for a while. I swear the clip tomorrow will not be this long. But again, I'm a bit buzzed. Um, but this was so much better and so much more beautiful that I was like, what the fuck is this dandelion shit? I'm like, it did not work at all. And then I set my face with my Do It spray and a bit of my Milk Makeup spray. And then I set my brows with my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, of course. And then for my lips, I went in with, if I could find it, so I got two 
So I got a new lip product yesterday, but I went in with one of my ultra satin lips. I mean my ultra glowing lips from ColourPop. So I used the ultra glowing lip in the shade Adults Only from the In the Springs collection. And this was beautiful. But then I wanted to top it with the lip oil that I mentioned yesterday. Um, so I used the NYX Fat Lip Oil in the shade Follow Back. And I showed one of my friends this, and I like this, but I wouldn't necessarily wear this as, like, a uh, a lip oil on, like, a prepping basis for my lips. I would much prefer wearing the Amico Lay one, but this one is nice. And this was really nice for the beach. It was such a pretty, like, like non-sticky lip oil because it's a lip oil. It's like a lip oil gloss. So, yeah, that's it. Bye. Tomorrow's my birthday in like two minutes. So I'll tell you guys my makeup look for tomorrow. Literally tomorrow night. So bye. <laughs> Jania, bye. Hey, so hey there guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. So actually today is still my birthday and I went out east with my boyfriend. We went to our favorite Italian place and we went to a couple of um, farm stands. We went to our favorite pie stand first. He like really loves it. Um, so we went there but also like they have like the most popular pies out in the North Fork so we always go there. Um, this is now the second year in a row that we went out east because we literally did like the same thing last year. But honestly, I just love going out there. And we try to make it out there at least once a summer. So like, what better time to do it than on my birthday? Um, so we got a blueberry pie there. And I don't think I got anything else there. Oh yeah, I got um, chocolate chip cookies. And then we went to... Um, uh, this like other small far farm stand and we got like a bunch of stuff there everything there would looked so good we got like this orange cranberry loaf and we got the zucchini like a yellow zucchini we got blueberries there fresh blueberries we got a couple of apples and we got um what was the last thing i think we got a small thing of chocolate chip cookies there too so we cleaned up there, but honestly, like, everything was, like, actually pretty reasonably priced there, so, um, I was like, it's not, like, terribly priced, and then we just went down to where the, um, the restaurant was, and we just walked around that area for, like, a good half hour, and we found, like, these little shops, because, like, this is kind of, like, a really small section, in the North Fork where they have like my favorite Italian place and then they have like a couple of small little shops there but usually like <laughs> I thought that there wasn't really much around there but I have been around that area quite a few times and usually like when I'm there like or if we get there a bit later like some of these shops close at like four o'clock so we're never able to go in but well, we went everywhere before 4 o'clock because our reservation at the Italian place was at 4. So we went to like this little bakery across the street called Biscuit Company. And we got a bunch of, a pack of biscuits there and then like the honey marmalade to to put on them. I can't wait to have one for breakfast tomorrow. It's going to be so good with like eggs. Oh my god. And then um, we went to this other little shop that had like little like kitchenware and dish towels and like pots and and bowls and like a lot of stuff like that's like for your kitchen and like really cute like little sugar pots and all of that and I got a dish towel there and I got um this little wine top um for my dad and I got the dish towel for my mom so like the the wine top you put into like a a bottle of wine after you uncork it you put this on in it as a stopper so it won't leak in the refrigerator my dad likes to put like his wine bottles like on the side in the refrigerator and sometimes they leak because the cork kind of gets some of it out of the bottle but with this thing it's not supposed to leak so I got him that 
And then we went to this other bakery right next to that store. And we got peanut butter cookies there. We got two cupcakes. We got like these like really, really good like chocolate treats. And then we got, um, I forgot what else, but all of it was so good. And then we went and had dinner at Grana and I got pasta, he got pasta, and then we shared a tom tomato mozzarella salad. So good. And then we went back to his house and it was great. It was just so, so nice. It was a really good birthday. So I had a lot of fun. So I primed my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I used the Amico Lay Lip Oil and then I set my eyes with the Dior Backstage Powder. And then for my palette that I wanted to use today, I went in with the Simply Posh Citrus Punch Palette because I thought this went so well with the dress that I wore. And I also have a full Get Ready With Me on this look because I always film a Get Ready With Me for my birthday. So I used Lemon in the Crease because I wanted to use the yellow first. Then I darkened up the crease more with a bit of Quench and I mixed it a little with Grapefruit and it looked so pretty. And then I, of course, used Blood Orange on the outer corners and then I went in with tangy all over the lid and it looked so pretty so now I've used all the shimmers twice is except for tangerine so I probably have to just go back into this and do like a simple orange look and then I just used blonde type on the brow bone and then I used um lime on the lower lash line because I wanted to pull in a bit of the green in the dress that I was wearing and then I went in with tangy on the inner corners which is the beautiful yellow shimmer and it looks so pretty. I got a couple, couple of compliments on my eyeshadow today. And everybody was so sweet. And it, I love this palette. It always looks so pretty on the eyes. And then I used um, the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Plum Smash on my waterline. Because I wanted a bit of like a purpley pinkish color on the waterline and it looked really pretty and then for my mascara I used the Valentino mascara again I absolutely love this so I had to use that oh God, how many times I'm gonna drop my mirror and of course I used the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes and then for my face I primed with the fourth ray beauty do it spray and then I used my say star glow super gel primer just because I wanted my skin to be a little bit more glowy today and also like I love that primer so I just wanted to use it and then for my foundation and concealer, I went in with my favorite combo, um, which is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Stay True Foundation. This foundation was absolutely perfect to wear today. It's just so, like, coverage and beautiful on the skin. And then for my concealer, I went in with the Coinciding Makeup Forever HD uh, Undetectable Concealer, and I've been absolutely obsessed with this as well. And then I set my face with my Dior Backstage Powder. And then for my bronzer, I went in with my Gucci bronzer in the shade 01, of course. I had to use my Gucci bronzer. And then for my blush, I went in with the new Dior Backstage blush that I got. So this one is the shade Rosewood, and I was finally able to use this again. And also, I really wanted to use this blush on my birthday. Because I always try to go in with some luxury products on my birthday. And then for my highlighter, I just went in with one of my favorite highlighters which is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the shade Iced. Such a stunning gold highlighter. It looks so good. And then I just set my face with my... I don't know why I'm so out of breath. With my um, Milk Makeup Setting Spray. And then I used the Do It, the Elf Wow Brow in my brows. And then for my lips, I went in with the ColourPop Cream Gel... ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Good and Plenty. And then I used my Gucci Liquid Lipstick in the shade rosewood and it was an absolute perfect color um with the dior blush these look so pretty together they're almost like the same color so it just looks so nice so yeah that's it i'm having a couple more birthday shenanigans tomorrow and monday so you guys will see my looks then bye bye Okay, so hey there guys, I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I am so exhausted though, like I started crashing around like 9 or 10 o'clock, but I had such a great birthday weekend, honestly, like it was really, really a good time. 
this weekend. I had so much fun and it was just a great time with great friends and with my boyfriend and it was just awesome and there's still some birthday shenanigans going on this week. I'm going out to dinner with my family on Tuesday and my friend Chris is coming and my brother's friend Matt is coming so that'll be really fun and then um Thursday I'm going out with my best friend um for his birthday um because his birthday is like two days after mine and we always try to get together to celebrate each other's birthdays every uh year now ever since my best friend passed away we always celebrate our birthdays together now um but honestly this was the best birthday weekend I've had since before my best friend was alive because I would always see my best friend on my, my birthday and we would always celebrate together every year um but since she passed away like but this has been just a great weekend so today I went uh so my friend Chris came he had just came back from Japan last night so he came back from a two-week trip in Japan and my two other friends that I haven't seen in a while, my friend Becca and her husband came out. I'm also friends with her, her husband too. He's great. Um, and we went and saw the movie Strays. It was hilarious. And me and, and Chris have been talking about that we've been wanting to see that movie since it came out. Or when it came out, we knew we wanted to see it, I mean. So we saw that and it was so funny. And then we went to mini golf afterwards because there's a mini golf place in the mall that we went to so we went there and that took like an hour um and then there's like a little like laser maze to go through in there too so me and Chris did that but we sucked at it but it was just fun to do um it wasn't even like 10 minutes though because we failed after like the second try but it was hysterical and then we went out to dinner and we got of course Italian food but we went to this place called Maggiano's Little Italy and it's right across from that mall that we went to and it was so good. I've only been there once before um, with my boyfriend la last year for his birthday um, and it was so good that I've been wanting to go back there um, but there's so many good restaurants around that area and it was delicious. I'm so glad we went back. It's kind of more family style. And it was so good. So, um, and yeah, it was just, it was a great day. So I primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer and then I used the Ami Lay Lip Oil. And then I set my eyes with the Dior, with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Powder. And then for my eyeshadow, I went in with the Bella Beauté Bar, the Sun and the Sea Eyeshadow Palette again because I'm almost done completely testing out this palette. I've used every single shade at this point the only shade that I need to use still on my lid is sunkissed but I've used every other shade oh my god the look that I did today lasted for like the entire time that I was out it was still super pigmented it didn't really transfer that much and there was no fallout underneath my eyes and it just looked beautiful and honestly the eyeshadow was the thing that lasted the longest out of everything else. Like my foundation started to fade a little bit. My blush was kind of, my blush was fading very weirdly today. I don't know why. And then my highlight was even fading by the time I came home. Even though I used a pretty blinding highlighter. But this, these were still super pigmented from when I got home. Like they were just as intense as when I first put them on. So this palette is phenomenal. I just love it. So I used Caribbean in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Bikini. And then I just used Bikini on the outer corners as well. Because I really only wanted to use those two mattes in my crease for the shirt that I was wearing. And then for my lid, I went finally went in with the like more multi-chrome shade. In the shade Water Nymph, this shade is so stunning, you guys. I mean, every single shimmer is amazing in this palette. But this is kind of like pinky, purpley white on your lid. It's so gorgeous. And then for my brow bone, I just went in with tan lines, of course. And then for the lower lash line, I went in with Caribbean again because I wanted a little bit of that, more of that turquoise in my shirt. I wanted it on the lower lash line. 
to match. And then for my inner corners, I went in with Sandcastle because I wanted a bit more of the pink that was in my shirt as well, and it was beautiful. And then for the, like, very inner part, I went in with Siren. It was so super pretty and sparkly. I'm just loving this palette. So literally, that's the last shade I need to use, and then I will have finally tested out the entire palette. But I do have a new palette to use, and I don't know if I'm going to use it tomorrow. So you guys will see tomorrow, obviously. And then for my waterline, I just went in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Crystal Crush. And I really do like this one, actually. This one lasted very well on my waterline. It's probably one of the only ones that does a good job of lasting. And it's just a really pretty turquoise. And then for my mascara, I went in with the uh, Give by Gwen Stefani mascara. Uh, the Can't Stop Staring mascara. And then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery, of course. And then for my face, I'm just so fucking tired. I used the Do It Spray, of course, and then I used my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I really need to use this up. I'm almost done, and I bought a backup of it. I just, I have, like, the tiniest bit left, and I really need to use it up. And then for my foundation, I went in with my favorite, the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear in the shade Ivory N. I might have not used this since California, but also it said it expired in June. But it was totally fine on my face, but my face is a little bit red tonight. And it's usually not, because my skin's been doing really well, especially yesterday. My skin was really clear. So I don't know if the reason, I think that might have been the reason why my makeup was fading more on my face tonight. Because this is not actually, I probably should get rid of this. Hmm. But it's not like it was bad, because it's not like it's scented, but... I don't know if I should keep on using this because it expired two months ago already. Um, and then for my concealer, I went in with the Tarte C Powerflex Concealer in the shade 8S Porcelain Sand. It's, of course, one of my favorites. I don't know if I might declutter this as well because it's getting down to, like, the bottom. I think it's pretty much to the bottom that I probably could declutter this, but it's my favorite concealer. I have a backup of it, so I'm probably just going to get rid of both of these and just start my new bottle of the concealer. And then I just, I mean, tube. And then I set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath powder, and then I set my face with my Urban Decay Stay Naked powder. And then for my bronzer, I just went in with the same bronzer that I used yesterday, which is my Gucci uh, bronzer in the shade 01. I love this bronzer, and I just wanted to use my Bougie bronzer again. And then for my blush, I went in with the Sailor Moon blush in the shade Over the Moon from ColourPop. And I love this color, and it's really beautiful. So I wanted to go in with a more subtle pink blush because originally I picked out like a hot pink lippy to wear. But I just thought it would have been too bold with the eyeshadow that I did. So I kind of wanted to do a bit more of a toned down pink shade because the eyes were so bold. And then for my highlight, of course I go ham with the highlighter though. I used the Lele Posh Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Your Majesty. I think it's just called Majesty. This is such a stunning, like, super glittery, multi-chrome kind of highlighter. It's so gorgeous. And then I set my face with the, um, with the Milk Makeup Spray. And then I set my, uh, brows with the elf wow brow and then for my lips I just went in with the same lip liner as yesterday which is the good and plenty liner from ColourPop and then for my lips I went in with the ColourPop ultra blotted lip that I got a couple weeks ago in the shade still an icon and this shade was perfect I originally wanted to go in with this um hot pink color in the shade sherbet shop but I just thought it would have been way too bold with the eyeshadow so I wanted to go in with more of like a mauve or pinky lip and it was so pretty so yeah that's it i am so out of breath so i need to go and i need to get ready for bed because i'm so tired so bye okay so hey there guys so i wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today um so i primed my eyes with my color pop party proof primer and then i used my amico lay lip oil of course and then i set my eyes with the color pop pretty fresh powder and then for my eyeshadow today, I went in with a brand new palette. This is Natasha Janona's latest release, and this is the I Need a Nude eyeshadow palette. Y'all know I was going to pick up this palette, so I was very excited to try it out today. 
So I went in with the shade Mesh first in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with stone and then I used Silhouette on the outer corners and then I used Mia all over the lid. A first impressions video is going to be coming. It probably will be up before this Everyday Makeup Lookbook goes up because I want to get this first impressions up as soon as I can. And then for the brow bone, I used uh, Fair. The shade Mia is a really pretty like sparkly shade. And then for my lower lash line, I went in with Stone, just smudged it underneath. And then for my inner corners, I went in with the shade Sheen, which is a really pretty like sparkly shimmer. So these are like kind of very similar uh, sparkly finishes to them. But mostly every shade is pretty unique in the finish, which I also really love about Natasha Denona's palettes is that they're never really the same kind of shimmer. Like all her shimmers are usually very different from one another. Um, but this is a pretty palette so far. I really like how romantic my, my eyes look, but also there's like a very beautiful like natural glam to my eyes. So at first I wasn't like too crazy about it, but then when I finished my eyes I'm like okay like this is why I love Natasha Denona's eyeshadows so I'm very excited to keep on playing with this for the rest of the week I also have a new eyeshadow palette coming though because I did get the new blend bunny palette as well because I couldn't resist getting an uh um <laughs> oh my god I'm brain farting um a neutral palette from blend bunny so <laughs> but they're very similar color stories so like I still need to do my comparison video on the Yucca palette and the Nomad Akavango Safari palette, but I don't know if anybody cares about that anymore because those palettes have already been out for like a couple of months, but I feel like this one and the Blend Bunny one are so similar to each other that I feel like I would do a comparison video on those to see if you need both because I got both because I'm a crazy person. I don't know why. I just was waiting for both brands that I really like to come out with a neutral palette. And once they did, I'm like, okay, well, it's mine. <laughs> so, and then I went in with the LA Girl Brown Liner on the waterline. And then for my mascara, I just went in with my, with my Essence Lash Primer as always. And then I went in with my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, and then I went in with the Lash Discovery Mascara on the bottom lashes, and then for my face, I primed with my Do It Spray and my Say Star Glow Super Gel Primer, and then for my foundation, I decided to go in with the Fenty Beauty Stick Foundation again, because I wanted to give it another shot to see if I was going to like it, but honestly, I'm still not really that crazy about this foundation. I don't think it looks that good on my skin unfortunately I just I don't know I just feel like it kind of emphasizes all my imperfections and it does look good on camera like it does look really pretty on camera but in person I'm not really feeling how it looks on my nose it's very dry and it is really really dry around my cheek area and by the way I think I said I filmed this look and will it will be up very soon so you guys will see me apply this on camera as well what the heck is this? Now I gotta fix that too. Oh my god, I'm so it took me so long to do my foundation and my makeup today. I don't know why there's now <sighs> transfer underneath my eyes. So now I'm gonna have to fix that off camera. So anyway, I'm not really crazy about this, so I think I'm gonna take it back. So I'm gonna return this along with the Fenty Beauty concealer because I'm not really that crazy about the concealer anymore either. Um, so yeah, I'm not really feeling it. So, but I also did get a new concealer in the mail yesterday and I tried it today and I am really, uh, am liking how the concealer looks. And this is the new makeup by Mario concealer. This is the Surreal Skin Awakening concealer in the shade 120. And I do really like how the concealer looks. Like every part of my face that looks good is because of the concealer, not because of the foundation. So I don't know. I really thought I was going to be a bigger fan of this foundation because everybody was like raving about it that I watched and they're like, it's the best stick foundation I've tried. But I don't know. I am I gave it another shot and I really just make things, it makes my skin look way too dry. I much prefer the, um, which is funny because it should be better for dry skin than oily skin. 
but I think I prefer the Cali Ray skin tint way more over this. I think the Cali Ray one is so beautiful on the skin and it gives me some really good coverage that I can't really be bothered with trying this foundation again and babysitting it and trying to make it work. So, and then I just set my under eyes with my Becca Hydra Mist powder and then I set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh powder and then... I don't know where the heck this went because I did drop it. Hold on a second. Okay, and then for my bronzer, I went in with the ColourPop Cream Bronzer Stick in the shade um, Laguna Beach. And it does look pretty good, but I had to use a beauty blender today because somehow my other brush got dirty. I need to wash all my brushes, so I'll probably wash all my brushes tonight. Because then they'll all be dry by the time I go out to dinner tomorrow. So um, so I just used that because I really wanted to use it today. And then for the blush, I went in with the mini Ilia blush that I got for my birthday gift. So this is the Ilia Multi-Stick in the shade At Last. So I wanted to use that because it was kind of more of like a blushy toned pink. But I feel like that the... I mean, I did set my face first with this blush. I mean, with, I mean, I did set my face first. I did set the foundation first. Oh my God. With powder. Can I speak? But I think that's why the stick didn't really apply as creamily, but also like it wasn't really applying that well at all. Like I really had to build it up, but I feel like the reason why it looks a little patchy is because of the foundation. Like... But also, like, this wasn't the creamiest uh, foundation stick that I've ever used. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not loving every single product that I used today. Especially, like, the newer products. I mean, I love the palette. but And I love the concealer. But the other three products, I'm not really crazy about. And then, But the Ilia stick was free. I don't even have to really use it if I don't want to. Um, and then for my highlight, I went in with a Olzer ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter. This is the shade You're a Catch, and this is such a stunning, like, pinky-toned, uh, natural-looking highlight. It's so pretty. And then I just set my face with the Do It Spray, and then I just set my brows with the Elf, with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And then for my lips, I went in with the Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in the shade Sugar Cane. This is one of the Power Move Lip Crayons. Oh my god, I was twisting the bottom. I was like, why Why isn't it going up? I was like going like this, but you have to twist it like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's it's been I've been talking too long on camera, so I need to I need to go. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>
it's really hard to figure out what shimmer you want to use first and after I swatched this one though this one was so stunning so I had to use that and it looked so beautiful on the lid and then I just used fair on the brow bone again and then for the lower lash line I went in with vague on the outer part and then for the inner corners I went in with whisper which was a really pretty light inner corner highlight very very pretty shimmer and then for the like very inner part right here on the lower lash line I went in with a little bit of sheen because this is such a beautiful super sparkly shade and I'm probably going to use this in like all my looks but it's such a oh my god I just got glitter underneath my eyes <laughs> and I took my makeup off already and I have glitter on my forehead somehow oh because I just touched my forehead too damn it I already washed my face <laughs> took my makeup off like three hours ago already damn it okay so that's everything that I use from the palette I'm gonna have to remember to take off the um <laughs> that glitter and then I just used my makeup by Mario lip lip liner eyeliner and my waterline and then of course my essence lash primer and then I went in with my Valentino uh, mascara again I've been absolutely loving this mascara and I use this for like every special occasion now it's just it's a fantastic mascara and then I went in with my Mayb Maybelline lash discovery of course and then for my face I prime with my do it spray of course and then I use the elf liquid poreless putty primer and I absolutely love this primer so I just went in with that and then for my face today I went in with the makeup by Mario surreal skin foundation and the makeup by Mario surreal skin concealer I love both of these together they are so nice and it's such a perfected complexion uh, result, but it just looks so beautiful. It doesn't look like flat or too makeup-y. It's just so beautiful on the skin. So I am really liking this concealer. It might not be the most long-lasting concealer because when I came home, it was pretty creasy. But honestly, it just looks so good for the few first like hour. But I was also laughing a lot tonight, so it's not like a huge deal. It just looks so beautiful. I really, really enjoyed the combo and I really wanted to go in with the foundation and, and concealer today because I really wanted to see what I thought and I love both of them together. They're beautiful. So I have the shade 1C and the foundation and then I have the shade, I believe 120 in the concealer and I'm just really, really liking this concealer so far. And then I set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath powder, of course, and then I set the rest of my face with my Dior powder again. I have such a headache because I'm trying to get through this because whenever I turn the light on, it just really hurts my head. And then for my bronzer, I went in with my Pat McGrath Labs bronzer in the shade Naked Desire. Um, I did want to go in with my Gucci bronzer again, but I haven't used this in a little while, so I wanted to go in with this one today, and it looked so beautiful, so that's why I went in with that. And then sorry and then for my blush I wanted to go in with my favorite luxury 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 blush which is the Gucci um, cheeks and eyes powder luminous matte shade in the shade 10 02 tender apricot I love this blush you guys it's such a beautiful blush I went in with a little bit more than I wanted to today but I sheared it out a little bit and it looked so beautiful. Like it was very orange when I built it up. But then when I like kind of blended it out, it just blended out so beautifully. So I really, really love this blush. I hate that it's $50 because I probably would buy like every single shade if they weren't so pricey. But I just love this. But I don't need another blush like a hole in the head. I have so many blushes right now to kill somebody. But... When I can use this blush, I use it because I absolutely love it. And then for my highlight, I went in with one of my favorite ones from Dior, which is the Dior, um, what is this called? Um, Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in the shade 01. I believe this one is not available anymore, but I love going in with my Dior highlighters when I go out for a special occasion, and it looked absolutely beautiful. This one is more of a champagne-y nude, but it just works so beautifully for my fair skin that I absolutely love it. And then I just set my face with my Milk Makeup Setting Spray, and then I set my brows with my Elf Wow Brow. 
And then for my lip liner, I went in with my Pat McGrath Labs liner because I always use this for special occasions in the shade Structure. It's one of my all-time favorites. And then for my lips, I went in with the Patrick Ta lip cream that I got. This is only the second time I've used it, but I really wanted to use it again. And I really, really enjoy this formula. And this is in the shade She's Secure. It's just a very light, um, like, moussey kind of lip cream. And it also just... It lasted really well throughout dinner, so I really like this formula. I prefer the lip creams from Patrick Ta over the lip suede's from Makeup by Mario. I'm not like a huge fan of the lip suede's, and I love both brands' lipsticks. But yeah, I really wanted to use this one again, and it looked so pretty. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey there, guys. I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I just wanted to say my eyeshadow turned out. A little bit more cooler tone than I was expecting it to because I wanted to use a warmer tone blush and like a warmer lippy today but it's okay I think it still looks pretty so I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer and then used my Amico Light Lip Oil of course and then I set my eyes with my uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder and then I went back in with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette this is mostly the palette I'm going to be using for the rest of the week you guys saw me use a couple different eyeshadow palettes over the weekend but over this week I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona palette. I'm probably I'm going to be using a new palette on Friday so you might see that look or that'll be in next week's um, everyday makeup look book because I just received another palette today because I'm crazy. So anyway so I used stone in the crease first then I darkened up the crease with vague and then I used silhouette on the outer corners and then for the lid, I went in with the shade Ella, which is just a really pretty, like, brownish shimmer. This one, I'm not really as head over heels for, for this shimmer shade. It's pretty, but usually what makes Natasha Denona's eyeshadows, like, so special is that they're super sparkly and they have, like, different multi-glitters in it. I think that this shade kind of swatched better on my hand than it did on... Then it performed on the lids, but it's still pretty. I mean, you're still always going to get a pretty look out of Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palette. So, And then I put fair on the brow bone, of course. And then for the inner corners, I just went in with the shade Whisper again. The same one I used yesterday. And it's just a really pretty, like, bright, cooler tone, like, whitish shimmer. And it's so pretty. And that's everything that I used, so I didn't really use that many shades. Um, I probably should have went in with Vague first and then darkened it up with Stone. But Stone looks like it's not as deep as uh, Vague, but I feel like I want to use that shade tomorrow and like see how Stone is. But I really wish that there was at least one more matte in here that wasn't as gray mid-tone like I know we have these two shades but if we just had one more because vague just isn't dark enough to build up enough depth for me I mean it's still pretty when I apply it I just wish that there was one more shade that's just me I wish that there was eight mattes and seven shimmers and I feel like that would have been like the perfect amount but again I understand she's showing off the shimmers in this palette and then I use the brown liner from LA Girl as per usual and then for my mascara I used my Tower 28 mascara because I did go in with a couple of Tower 28 products on my face today um, so I wanted to use the mascara that's one of my favorites and then I just went in with my lash discovery on my bottom lashes of course and then for my face I used and of course I primed with my Essence Lash Primer like what else is new and then I primed my face with my um, Do It Spray and the Say Star Glow Super Gel Primer and then for my face, I went in with the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 in the shade 05 Fairfax, which of course is the lightest shade. And then for my concealer, I wanted to try out the brand new Tower 28 concealer today. So this is the, I just got this in the mail like two hours ago. So I'm glad, so glad that it came before my makeup. Um, before I did my makeup because usually when I order a Sephora package it usually comes early morning late early afternoon I was about to say late afternoon but early afternoon the latest because it comes through UPS not through USPS so it's always more convenient um, so this is the serum concealer I can't even read this um, 
pretty sure it's the lightest shade. I really cannot read that. Like, I don't know why that's so difficult to read, but this is like the lightest shade that they have. But anyway, this is brand new, and I really like how it looks underneath the eyes. Honestly, I've been pretty impressed with the concealers I've been trying lately. I really like this one. I really like the Makeup by Mario, and I really like the Makeup Forever one the most. This one, I would say, has less coverage than the Makeup by Mario, but it's still very pretty, and it goes really nicely with the Tara 28 Tinted Moisturizer, so I wanted to use the two together, and they both look really nice, so I'm definitely enjoying this already. And then I set my under eyes with my Becca Hydra Mist Powder, and then I set my face with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my bronzer, I wanted to go in with my Tower 28 bronzer. So this one is the Bronzino Sun Coast. The Sun Coast bronze, wait, Bronzino bronzer in the shade Sun Coast. Oh my goodness. And it's just a really pretty, like very glowy bronzer. And then for my blush, I wanted to go in with a new blush that I got a couple days ago in the mail. And I still haven't been able to try it yet. So this is the LYS. Uh, higher standard satin matte cream blush in the shade kindness and this is a really really nice formula I really like this so it was a very nice easy buildable formula and it's very very nice to build up I think I'm going to do like a ranking of all of the cream blushes or liquid balmy blushes that I've tried lately and just put that in a ranking video and tell you guys my least favorite to my favorite. I think I already know what my favorite one is, but this one is really good too. Hopefully I'll be able to use this at least one more time before that, but I think I've already made up my mind because like blush usually doesn't take me that long to make up my mind. Like I feel like that this would last quite a while on the skin. And then for my highlight, I used the LYS because I wanted to use both together, Aim High Pressed Powder Highlighter in the shade Brave, which is like the champagne -y gold, and it's so pretty. Again, it doesn't really go with the eyeshadow, but I think it still looks really pretty. And then I just set my face with my Do It Spray again, and then I set my brows with the ColourPop, ColourPop, ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, as per usual. And then for my lips, I went in with a new lip product today because I also received this in the mail with the LYS blush, and I hadn't been able to try either of them yet. So this is the Milk Makeup Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss in the shade Explore. I was really intrigued to try one of these, and this is really, really nice. This definitely, this is a very interesting hybrid product. It feels so nice on the lips, and it gives like a really nice tint of color. I just wanted to try it by itself because... Sometimes I just go in with glosses to see my boyfriend, but this is really nice. I didn't think I was going to love it because when I tried it on, like the scent was very um, prominent and you could taste it a lot, but it kind of dissipates after you apply it. And this is the most interesting formula that I've tried in a while, but it feels very nice on the lips. And it does feel like a glossy lip oil, and but it's not sticky like a gloss but it's not exactly a lip oil, but it's nourishing like a lip oil. So it's really nice. And I really like this. I don't know if I'm going to pick up another shade because I really like how this looks already. So that's dangerous because I don't need anything, but I do need to make an exchange at Sephora and I got some birthday money that I want to spend. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey there guys, so I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. So I used quite a few newer products today. So I went in with my Anastasia eye primer first to prime and then I used my Amico Lay lip oil of course and then I set my eyes with my Urban Decay powder, my Urban Decay naked powder and then for my eyes I went into the Natasha Denona I need a nude palette today. I know you guys are probably already sick of seeing this palette but this is the palette I'm going to be using and I'm actually going to see one of my friends today. We're going to hang out, go to the bar boardwalk near him, and also get something to eat. It's supposed to rain soon, so, um, but we're probably going to hit the boardwalk a little bit after that because it's supposed to stop around 3 o'clock. So. Um, so I'm just going to, I just used this palette today, obviously, like I said. So I went in with this shade Wit first, and then I didn't want to use 
any of the like cooler tone mattes in this palette today because I wanted to keep it warm. So I just went into one of the mattes in the Natasha Denona My Dream palette and I just used the shade Carpe Diem just to deepen it up but not use something that's so cool toned. So that's the only shade that I used from that. And then I just went into Silhouette again in this palette and used that on the outer corners. And then for the lid shade, I just wanted to use the shade Sheen. It is such a pretty light sparkly shimmer so that's all I wanted to use and then for the brow bone I went in with fair of course and then for the lower lash line I went into the shade wit again and then for the inner corner I wanted to use the shade muse and it turned out so pretty and sparkly and that's all I used from the palette today so simple but effective look and then for my um Lashes, of course, I just use the Essence Lash Primer, and then for my waterline, I just use my Makeup by Mario Brown Liner, because it's, like, my favorite, and then for my lashes, I used the Ami Kalei Mascara again. Um, this is the only mascara that they offer. I don't even remember what it's called, but that's the only mascara that they have, and then I primed with the Do It Spray, of course, and then the e.l.f. Coreless Putty Primer because I just wanted to use that and also I hadn't tested it out with the foundation that I'm wearing. Um, I was going to go in with a skin tint today because originally we were supposed to go to the beach there but again since it's so gloomy outside that we just decided we're not going to the beach but we might just sit by the water later because I have like a towel in my car so we might just lay that out and you know look at the sunset or whatever we'll see. Um, but I just used this one. I wanted to use my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, but I just couldn't find it at the time. And I, that was already sitting in front of me. So I just used that because I wanted to use it anyway. And then for my foundation, I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is still one of my favorite foundations of all time in the shade 110C. You just can't beat the finish of it. It always looks beautiful on my skin. And then for my concealer, I wanted to go back into the Makeup by Mario concealer. So this is the um, Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. And this is the lightest shade that he offers. I believe it's 120. And then I just set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath powder. And then I just set my face again with the Urban Decay powder. I don't know why I can't say Urban Decay today. The Naked Power Powder, not Power in the shade 10 and n oh my god shows that i didn't get that much sleep and then for my bronzer i just went into the house labs bronzer this is the power Vel sculpt velvet bronzer in the shade light level one y'all know how much i love this one so i wanted to go into that and then for my blush and highlight there's a lot of stuff here let me move the natasha denona palettes real quick um so for my uh blush and highlight I went into the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Bare Cheeks Face Palette. I received this in the mail yesterday along with their new face and eye palette. So I wanted to get this palette because I have been eyeing it ever since they, these palettes came out. This one and like the Juicy palette. But I thought that these colors would be just more versatile and easier for me to use year round. So the shade that I wanted to go into today is the shade making me blush so that's what I used on my cheeks today very pigmented they're almost as pigmented as eyeshadows are and I know that this is like a versatile like kind of eye and blush palette basically you can use your blushes for eyeshadow whenever the fuck you want to but I can tell that these are a lot more pigmented than like a regular blush is but I'm very excited to try out the rest of the shades in here I've just been a blush fanatic lately like trying as many blushes as possible but also I wanted to get this palette because I just feel like the face and eye palette is very cool toned and there's not really any like blush tones that I would use in this palette so for my highlight I went into the blend bunny cosmetics forget me not palette I am going to use this palette tomorrow as my eyeshadow palette but I just wanted to use one of these as a face highlight so I went into the shade cheers and it's a really pretty like very light champagne -y kind of color and it's very reflective very very pretty so I just used that that's all I used from this palette 
And then I also took a tiny bit of it and popped it on the inner corner and it really brightened it up. It's very pretty for that. So that's all I used from that. I was thinking about using one of the shades as a face bronzer, but they're just all too cool tone for me and they're more so like kind of contour colors. And then I set my face with my Milk Makeup Spray and then I set my brows with my Elf Wow Brow. My hair is just shedding. I need to get my jewelry on and get out of here. And then for my lip liner, I just went in with the Half Magic Sculptitude lip liner and I believe I went into, I thought I went into, I, I went into the lighter shade. So I went into the shade Ballerino, which is the lighter of the two. So I love this lip liner duo. So I used that. And then for my lips, I don't know if I'm going to use a smaller bag today. I forgot I wanted to do that too. I need to get out of here before too because it's supposed to rain then. Um, so for my lips, I went into my favorite lipsticks of I think the entire year, every time I don't wear these, I want to wear them so badly again. So I just went into the Lawless lipstick in the shade Tropic because I love this color. It's just such a pretty warm tone peachy color. Y'all know how much I love those kind of colors for every day. And then to top it off with a little bit of gloss, I went into the Milk Makeup Odyssey uh, lip oil again. This is the Shimmer Lip Oil in the shade Explore. It just looks so pretty on top. I love this lip combo. It looks so pretty. It made my lips look so juicy. So yeah, that's it. Bye!